Hey everybody, my name is Jerry Williams, AKA Greater Sapien. Thank you for stopping by and sharing your time with me. It is Sunday, January 26th, and I have a few things planned to talk about today, but um, once I decided to start recording, some new news came down the line that uh, apparently Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash on either to or from his home down in the Los Angeles area, uh, just uh, within the last uh, hour or two. That's um, that's kind of crazy, and if the if the if the news reports are true are true, and his I think his his daughter who's like thirteen or fourteen years old, if she died in the crash as well, that is that's just just fucking tragic. I'm not saying that you know Kobe's death is not tragic enough in and of itself. It it is as it, the death of anyone else who was in that plane crash, but um, for a family to you to lose. The father and and a child in in the same incident is just is just it's just horrifying. It's one of those things as a parent, uh, it just you know just shakes me just thinking about it. Uh, so so my thoughts go out to the the Bryant family and all those who are you know are close to them. I'm I'm not going to try to act like I'm a you know a, a big Kobe Bryant fan that I'm out there you know you know touting the Lakers or whatever. I'm I'm not a big basketball fan. I enjoy the sport, but I'm not I'm not a follower. So I'm not gonna act like this is a a great personal tragedy to me. It's a shock because I understand where he sits in the kind of the in the culture and and the effect he's had. He's really he's quite well known for his 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 charity, uh his humanitarian uh activities and he's had an impact on uh the sports culture and just uh, the American culture in general uh, that can, cannot be denied. So it's going to be a it's it's really a, a shocker for for today. Um, and you know just on a, on a just on a personal note for all of us to think about. You never know when something like this is going to happen. You just you don't. It's uh, they, they say that you know people. It's kind of a cliche. They say you know hug your kids, tell people you love them. But it's a cliche for a reason because you should. Um, I travel a lot. My, you know, I have bursts with my job that have me uh, crisscrossing the country um, fairly frequently. Sometimes, sometimes a lot of a lot of plane flights in a, in a short period of time. And uh, every time I do, every time I'm on a plane, I'm thinking, "Damn, what if what if, what if this is the the rare plane crash? What if I'm on that one?" Um, you know, did I did I say the things I wanted to say? Should I, I, you know? And when you get and your mind goes down these dark roads, sometimes you even think as you're sitting there and working on your computer and on the plane, and and these things start to come. You say, should I, should I write something up right now just in case something goes wrong? I yeah, I hate to 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 think that way, but I can't deny that I've thought that way. That maybe I should, maybe I should write something up just in case. Uh, never, I haven't done it. My mind, my mind doesn't get that dark that I actually go through with it. But you know, you go there. Um, but that's why I make a point whenever I travel. Um, I wake my kid up before I leave to to go to the plane if if it's at an odd time. I make sure that uh, we've talked, that we've 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 physically like you know touched each other, uh, that we've communicated, and I let him know what's up. I let him know that I love him. Let him know where I'm going to be, what the plan is, and uh, you know, kind of do that. You know that that father talk just in case just in case it's, it's a it's a terrible thought and when i'm out traveling i make sure i call home every night talk to my wife talk to my son and it's just when i and i check in whenever something's changing it's just one of those things that you have to do because you never know you just you just never know and it's uh it's a uh, it's a scary fact of life and i and i can understand that's part of the appeal of of the religious is that if they can try to give them something to make them feel a little more secure about things, but it's a false security. We just have to, we have to take the actions in our life, uh, to make sure we've buttoned things up, uh, beforehand. Uh, and it's, and it's interesting that, uh, this news came out, um, and not, not 20 minutes before, I learned the news. I had a conversation with my, my sister-in-law because we had a little a little uh, butting of heads yesterday. And so she called me up to apologize for the for the tone of voice she used. Because, you know, and because we don't like, we, we get along really well. We don't like disagreeing with each other. 
and so um, clashing between us is, is not a is not a good thing. And so she called because she wanted to make things right. And again, and it was not a problem. I told him like, hey, look, I know what you said was out of love, and so there's no no worries about it. But she called and told me this because when it came to, hey, who knows? As far as I know, maybe she even knew about that. I haven't talked to her since. Maybe even she she even knew about what happened with Kobe and it, and it hit her or something like that. But uh, but she called me up and she made sure that we were good. And so you got to do that, people. Got to got to hug your kids. And it kind of makes. The, uh, the reason why I was going to talk, the things I was going to talk about, and then all that kind of makes the things I was going to talk about today seem less important. Not that Kobe makes it seem less important, but once you start talking about these personal things, it makes uh, uh, my original checklist, I have a checklist of things, uh, no script, but a checklist of things I wanted to talk about, and, and uh, we're going to get to that now. But I just wanted to, I didn't want to try to ignore uh, the news that came out. And who knows, maybe I'll chop this up into a separate video, uh, just so that uh, tonally it'll be a little different. Yeah, I might, I might do that. So we'll, we'll see.